Whoa, ho, ho. fellas, welcome back to another Pass and Bucks video. I'm actually gonna be going over in the background here how much ammo I have, how much ammo I've stockpiled up with the ammo shortage in 2021, how much ammo I've actually reloaded myself and that my dad has reloaded because this is kind of all my dad's stuff. Um, so I'm not gonna be messing with it too much because he doesn't really like when I mess with his stuff too much. So let's dive right into this video. I'm also gonna be showing you guys um, my guns as well, what kind of guns are in the safe and what kind of guns we have that shoot our reloaded rounds that we actually reload and everything. So let's hop right into this video. Nothing much else to say. Let's Let's get to showing you guys some ammo, let's get to show you guys some guns, and let's get to the freaking action. Stay tuned, here we go. As you guys can see, I got a full collection here of ammo. Um, so everything that I see, we probably have three or four times of it. Ba mainly gonna be doing guys is showing what kind of calibers I have, and then I'm gonna be kind of telling you how many rounds of each caliber that we do have. Yeah, so we got a bunch of 22 long rifle rounds up there. We've got a bunch of uh, 12 gauge rounds right there. We got some nine millimeter right here. Yeah, and then we got two whole cases of 12 gauge right there. We're saving that for dove season this year, September 1st. It's always September 1st dove season. I still gotta get my hunting license as well at Academy. I'm gonna vlog that for you guys. That'll be pretty badass. Oh, we do have some steel shot. I'm probably gonna use these for next dove season for some steel shot. We probably have close to a thousand rounds of 22 long rifle ammo. And then we've also got this section right here. We've got 223. We've got um, more 223, 22, 250, 30 out six ammo. Um, a lot of primers. I know that's something that a lot of you guys are looking for right now. Primers. So we have a thousand small rifle and we have a thousand large rifle primers to have. And then we also have more more primers and bullets and all that kind of stuff over there. A couple hundred rounds of 22 to 50 ammo, a couple hundred rounds of 30 odd six ammo, a lot of gunpowder guys for reloading and stuff like that. Um, I'm also gonna be showing you guys some of my reloading equipment that I have here at our shop area. Yeah, lots of bullet tips. We have some 7.62 bullet tips. We've got some, let me come over here, 30 cal, lots of 30 cal bullet tips. Uh, more small rifle primary and then we've also got 22 cal bullet uh, tips reloading stuff supplies down there also guys we've got a lot more ammo over here um, we've got nine millimeter ammo here we've got more nine millimeter ammo and more nine millimeter ammo here so i would say guys in total we probably have a couple hundred rounds of nine millimeter ammo 30 30 ammo right here good 30 30 hunting ammo here's a 40 40 s and w pistol ammo as well pistol ammo that we have there that's pretty cool I do want to show you guys something. I do have something pretty cool to show you guys. My dad actually uses these lead. He, he makes like the only, all his own bullet tips to keep the cost down. We have this right here. This is actually a lead bullet tip on this guy. He, my dad actually makes them himself. Some 30 odd six. I have some 30 odd six ammo that he actually did lead tip bullets. Let me show you guys that right now. Here we are. Look at this guys. Handmade. Way cheaper to actually do the lead bullet tip. Uh, so this is actually a 30 odd six bullet. It goes in the 30 out six gun. I'm gonna show you guys the rifle as well in this video. So that being said, we probably have about a couple hundred rounds of each ammo, uh, 30 out six ammo, 223, um, 22, 250. We kind of have a bunch of all that ammo. And I've also picked up a bunch of ammo doing these ammo videos. I picked up a bunch of uh, factory ammo from the stores and stuff like that. Some 22, 250, uh, some nine millimeter, some shotgun shell. We also have a bunch of 22 Magnum. I, have, I don't have that here right now, but I have a bunch of 22 Magnum as well. I say we probably have a thousand rounds of 22 Magnum. Quick minute here and show you guys all the reloading supplies that we have. Uh, I don't really know a whole lot of details on the names and stuff like that, but I'd like to show you guys what we use to reload the bullets. Just a quick survey of our little area here that we have. And then I'm going to show you guys our rifles as well. Let's show you guys some of the reloading supplies that we have, reloading equipment that we use, because I know a lot of you guys are getting into reloading right now with the ammo shortage. I'm just going to be going over what we have here. So here we go. We have this deal right here. We got a lot of, a lot of stuff over here. We have this little sanding thing to clean off the brass before we reload it. All of this stuff over here, I'm not really sure what all this is called, but this is kind of like the base area here. It's a little bit of a mess right now. Uh, we got the gunpowder dial here. We got the bullet presser right here. This is how you insert the bullet into the actual casing. And then we kind of got everything over here, all the small hand equipment, all the tools, all the uh, bullets and stuff like that. Got some stuff here. I'm not gonna be messing with this too much because I don't want to get it unorganized for like my gunpowder right there and then kind of just the whole nine yards here. That's kind of like my reloading situation. That's kind of what ammo we have here at my house and just kind of everything that we got going on. I'm gonna hop on into this gun safe right here and we're actually gonna be showing you guys some of the actual guns that I own. My dad's been kind of collecting over the years. The first gun I'm gonna be starting off with here is my 3030 lever action. I've actually done a review video on this one before on the channel. I'll go ahead and leave that video link up there. I've done a full review on this gun itself, um, but 
clear, obviously. Um, so it's got this little cool sleeve on it. I really like this gun. It's kind of a vintage gun that we have. We do have a bunch of ammo for this as well. I know a lot of you guys are having a hard time finding 30-30 rifle ammo, um, but we do have a lot of ammo reloaded, ready to go for this gun. And I personally like this gun because it's kind of vintage and, you know, westerny movie and stuff like that. We have a total of, I believe, 10 rifles here. Um, I'm not sure what every single one of them is called, but I'll just kind of go over the ones that I know and that I like. Okay, guys, so this is actually a 243 smaller caliber gun. This is what I kind of use for uh, deer hunting, whitetail hunting only. I don't go exotics with this one. I did shoot my black buck with a 30 out 6 gun, a little bit heavier gun. It was a very tough animal. If I would have shot it with a 243, it would literally would have just bounced off of it. Yeah, it's got this nice little nitro scope on it. I don't really know too many details on it, but I know it's a very expensive scope. It does get the job done here. I'm thinking about selling some of these sleeves on my merch drop. Uh, if we can find some and get them done. But here's what our bullets look like for the 243. A little bit smaller bullet, but it does pack a big punch and it does get the job done, fellas. Movable rifle. I guess you can kind of move it around. It's very easy to get in and out of the deer blinds with it, and I really like it a lot. Okay, guys, what you guys really want to see now, and we've got the AR-15 with a... Uh, it does have the night vision scope on it right now, but I do have a night vision scope for this one, and we have two of these, actually. We've got an AR-15. My dad actually built these himself. It shoots 223 ammo, and we've got that right now. Let me go ahead and drop the mag and kind of show you guys what it shoots. Kind of that right there, 223 ammo. And this is a great gun for hog hunting and stuff like that, guys, especially if you guys have a uh, place up in, like, you know, South Texas that's got a lot of hogs, javelinas. Hogs, they really tear up a bunch of stuff, and if you're going to shoot at hogs, you want to get rid of them quick. And the sim that semi-auto rifle is actually a great a great gun to get rid of those hogs. I do have a video of my, my boy Thad. Uh, actually bought a AR or he bought a 5.56 Ruger 5.56 at Bass Pro. I'll go ahead and leave that video up here. That was a pretty badass gun, and I really like that video, so I'm gonna leave that video up here. Let's go ahead and hop into the next gun here. Okay, fellas. So this right here, as always, we're gonna make sure the gun's clear. This right here, guys, is actually a Mossberg 12 gauge, one of my favorite 12 gauges that we have here. I think we have two 12 gauges and we have two 20 gauges. It's very vintage, a vintage nice gun. Um, it was actually handed down from my grandpa, so I really like this gun, and I, we really try to take, take care of our guns here at my house. And this ammo right here, 12 gauge, pretty simple, pretty easy ammo. Long barrel 20 gauge. I do like this gun as well. It's a pump action shotgun. All of my guns are pump action. I really want to get a semi auto, but the semi autos are quite expensive, and I don't want to, I'm not sure if I want to drop that much money on a semi auto. Here, this is what I mainly use for bird hunting. I do like the 12 gauge a little bit more for bird, for like duck hunting and stuff like that. Like dove hunting, I usually stick with the 20 gauge, a smaller caliber. And this one has a, quite a long barrel. We do have one with a short barrel, and I really like that one as well. All right, guys, now time for the sniper rifle here. Not really a bazooka round, but just kind of like the meaty part of our gun here. Got a very big, wide barrel. We're gonna make sure it's unloaded right now okay no rounds in it but it's got a very big handle here it's got a very big nature and it's got a very nice scope on it very big nice scope what i call our headshot gun because literally guys this gun is so dead nuts on that we can shoot a deer from 200 yards dead nuts in the head um, it does shoot a very small round this is a 2250 caliber or 22250 caliber but it's got this really cool camo finish on it that i like a lot with this gun it's got a very big barrel as well on it and a super 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 light trigger this is going to be my go two gun and it packs a big punch it's pretty much dead nuts on all the time and any kind of animal i see it's going to go down on the ground this right here guys is actually my 30 out six it shoots a bigger round let me actually show you the round okay guys so i got the two rounds here this is the 22 250 round right there let me see if i can't get it focused there we go 22 250 round and then this guys is the 30 odd six round so as you guys can see right there it's almost double the size of the 30 uh, or the 22 to 50 round. This one right here goes into this gun, and that's why I kind of like this gun a little bit more. Is it, it has a bigger round, and it's going to put the animal down pretty quick. But the reason I like the 22 to 50 is for the range and the long range that it has on it, and the dead nuts accuracy that it has on it. I mean, uh, you don't really need a very big round if you can put the round in the head. An ethical kill shot before the animal runs off. That is actually going to be our SKS, guys. This gun is a Vietnamese gun, and I really like it a lot. I'm actually not sure if it's a Vietnamese gun or like a South Korean kind of gun. I, I might, it might be South Korean. Leave in the comments what this SKS is. I believe it shoots a 6.6 or a 7.62 ammo and AK-47 round. It's got a iron sights though. I really do like it. I've shot in it a couple times in the past, but this is something I'd love to take to a shooting range. It does shoot very hefty rounds. It's gonna shoot this round right here. If it does shoot a 7.62, it's gonna shoot a meteor round like this. And let me kind of hop into this one. God damn. 
This is our absolute mega bazooka, guys. The what round it shoots. It's got a Bushnell Elite 6500 6, scope on it. Hefty, hefty barrel, hefty rounds. And also is very precise, very accurate, and I personally like it. It's gotta be up there in the 10, 20 pounds. Uh, probably one of our heavier guns that we have here. If I'm not mistaken here, kind of getting sketchy. It shoots this ammo right here. Not too positive though. Cool, savage pattern on this bolt here, the slide bolt. Great all-around guns, got a very light trigger. All of our guns have very light triggers on them. All right, fellas, and my last but not least gun here is actually my 22 long rifle and 22 Magnum. This one's got two cylinders for it. I got a separate cylinder. Don't know where the cylinder is, but I do have two cylinders for this. Uh, it's a 22 Magnum rifle. It does, this is one to be, this is gonna be one of my smaller caliber guns. I, I really like this gun because it's lightweight and you can move it around a lot and it's kind of got this cool little revolver action kind of style here with this gun. About 15 total guns here. Yeah, we like to hunt a lot, hunt and fish a lot, so make sure you subscribe down below to the channel, and that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching this BNB video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe down below and watch the next BNB video. It'll be up here or down there. Uh, hit that like button, and have a nice rest of y'all's day. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out, fellas.